White cool for the pecan, thick bitch Puerto Rican. Take you out to Paraguay or California for the weekend. I'm with Sack and Juvie, so you gotta bring about three friends. Don't flex, don't pretend. You know we spin the pin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we finna go ahead and jump right into the video. So of course we're going to be using the watercolor method because it's one of the easiest color methods that I know of. And if you haven't seen my previous um, videos, I have, I think maybe like two other videos, um, watercolor method, super, super easy. If you want a more detailed, defined type of video, just check those out. I'll leave it down in the description box. So I'm pretty just make pretty much just mixing my Adore dye in the color lavender into this warm hot water. You don't want the water water to be cold because it's not gonna take it the same. So yeah, I'm going ahead put your gloves on so you don't stain your hands, your nails, or whatever. So I'm just pretty much using like one bottle. I believe I used one bottle and then I used half of the other bottle just so I can really just use the majority of my product because I'm not gonna be using this dye again. So um yeah so i'm just pretty much mixing that on in there and then we're gonna go ahead and dip a little bit of the wig in there just to see you know what kind of color it's looking so that was pretty much the exact color that i wanted a light purple lavender color so then i just literally soaked the entire wig into the watercolor so it's super super easy and you want to make sure you just move the wig around don't let it just sit in one spot because wherever it's sitting in one spot it's going to take majority of the dye is going to you know latch onto the hair in that one spot it's not going to move get you know it's not going to get in the creases all that good stuff like so you just want to make sure you're opening the wig up or if you're doing bundles make sure you open the bundles up get it in every little crevices creases all that good stuff so make sure you really just get it in there because you're gonna be still seeing some blonde dye. I mean, some not blonde dye. I'm sorry, but blonde streaks in the hair. So this is um this was a six three six thirteen unit at first, which I did do a video on, and I dyed it like a platinum blondish color. Took all the yellow out, wore it that way. Then I just decided to switch it up and make a purple wig. So now we're here. Alright, so y'all know I had to give y'all a little makeup beat. 
it is the same exact routine i haven't used any new products i believe other than the little um palette that i'm going to be showing you um but other than that it's the literally the same products that i've been using and i do have a detailed video on my everyday makeup routine which is this one here that i'm doing right now I have the exact same thing with more detail um i will place that down in the description box i was kind of just going for a neutral look because i don't normally wear color color hair like that so i didn't want to do too much so i'm just did some purple blush and then we're just gonna do some little little purple situation little purple highlight you know some slight nothing crazy so yeah if you guys want to go ahead and keep on watching just to see the final look make sure you guys do that and i'll be showing you guys the products as well throughout the video So another thing, I love spraying my face with the, um, I actually I ran out of the Morphe setting mist, which is my ultimate favorite, and I just had the little L'Oreal, you know, so it, it, it was alright, it was alright, but I prefer the Morphe setting mist, so I like to spray my face first, then spray my brush, and sis, I popped on that Maybelline highlight, the purple one, sis, that is bomb, like, I, I love, I fell in love with the purple highlight, this was, I believe, my second time using it because I did a makeup look before this one. And I just really like this purple, like, highlight. That is super freaking cute, you know, on the chocolate skin, you feel me? So we finna just go ahead and I'll line my lips with the Chocolate Kiss um, lip liner. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Brandis Kiss. Okay, yeah, because that's the only one I use in the chocolate color. I line my lips or usually I fill in my lips with it and just do a, like a lighter color maybe like a maybelline um their matte lipstick and i yeah that's what that is boom maybelline matte uh the little matte lipstick i don't know the exact number and i just put that in the middle create this little you know chocolate new situation for the chocolate girls you know so then we're gonna go ahead and pop in this purple and i just pop this in the inner corners i never used this palette before and i actually like it, it was pretty pigmented so this works out perfectly and I just popped on some NYX lip gloss scout and I was done and you know we straightened the hair it came out cute I really love this look y'all all right you guys so this is the final look I am so so freaking happy of how this came out like y'all don't even understand like my vision you knowing you just have a vision and just kind of comes to life like Pretty much this is what the moment I'm giving right now. So I am obsessed with this lavender bob. I can't wait to actually wear this out because clearly I kind of did this for nothing. But when I do wear it out, listen, be on the lookout for them photos on my IG. Also, I'm gonna leave that in the description box and also on the screen right here at Derek Deshay. All my social media handles is Derek Deshay. So if you want to see your girl looking snatched and you know serving looks on the ground make sure you go ahead and go follow me and i do appreciate you guys for tuning in to this video hopefully it wasn't too long and too boring but as always thanks for watching and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe bye